In this video, we're gonna go over how to get data, how to make phone calls and texts, and get the best SIM cards when traveling. When you're traveling around the world, you, you got your cell phone and whatnot, and um, let's just say you're from the United States and you're going over to Europe. If you're going over to Europe or Southeast Asia or South America, um, you might have a travel plan, but say you have AT&T, it might be $10 or $20 or you know, who knows how much a day. And then there's really big charges for international fees and this and that. So what I generally do when I'm traveling is I get a local SIM card. The one thing you have to know before you can get a local SIM card and use it in your phone, and this is really important, before you leave your home country to go on your trip, make sure that your phone is paid off um, and that you get it unlocked. You might be able to unlock it before it gets paid off, but generally if you have a phone plan where you're paying X amount per month to pay off the phone over you know, a, 10 year, or a one year to two year span, you wanna make sure that you just pay that all the way you know, outright at the beginning or say you're halfway with you right now, pay that out and then get your phone unlocked. You know, you call your cell phone provider and be like, hey, I need you guys to unlock my phone. They unlock it so that way you can use different SIM cards um, from different companies or um, providers around the world. So the next step, step two would be once you get to your country and say you forget to get a SIM card, you can get a SIM card in the country, but like say, say Europe for example, to get a SIM card there, sometimes in some countries, like I was just in Spain, I think it was, it was gonna be like 20 or 50 euros for a SIM card. I was only there for a day and I didn't wanna get a ton of data, you know, for, for a day or so, but it, was, it does make it easier to use public transportation to look up where things are, you have your GPS and whatnot. Um, you can definitely get by without having a SIM card and just going off of Wi-Fi, but it can be super useful, especially in a pinch. Um, but the cool thing about Europe is before you go, you can get a, a SIM card that's good for say 30 plus countries. So there's one, one SIM card on Amazon called, um, I think it's Orange, Orange Country Travel. It's for Europe. If you just look up Europe universal SIM cards or SIM cards for Europe, you'll find it. And it's a, a black card with some, like the Eiffel Tower and different pictures on it. And then um, it's good, I think it costs about $50 get 10 gigabytes of data in all those 10, a total of 30 countries. So you have 10 gigabytes of data, which is great. And then I think you get two hours of phone calls and X amount of texts. But if you're, if you're traveling and you've been traveling, I would recommend getting, you know, Line or WhatsApp or one of these digital, you know, phone accounts because you can text, you can call, you can do video call all through your data, which is phenomenal. Um, and you don't have to worry about making phone calls or texts. So that's really good. Um, when you're going to other countries like say Southeast Asia, you can generally get a SIM card for five to 10, maybe $15, depending which country you're in, that has a few gigabytes, maybe six or 10 gigabytes. The only thing is you want to be really careful about providing the right providers because some providers have better data and some providers have worse. Obviously, some people have more cell towers than other people when it comes to your your sim cards when you're traveling so what i tried to do is i before i buy a sim card i kind of shop around you know verbally i'll talk to people at my hostel or at my hotel like hey what's the best what's the best cell phone providers here in this country and they'll be like oh it's this guy it's this guy it's this company whatever it is and like cool cool and then i'll go around town and i'll check out and be like you know, I'll look at one shop and see how much they're selling their stuff for. And then I'll go to the street market and see how much they're selling their stuff for. You gotta be careful with street markets because you can get ripped off sometimes. But if you ask the locals, if you do your research, um, you can always find the best deals and the best places to go to get, um, get your goods, whether it be on the black market or you're not a traditional store or whatnot. Um, and I'll make a video about the black market, but the only difference really between the black market and the non-black market is um, basically they, you don't pay taxes. If I'm selling something and I don't pay taxes on things that I sell, then I'm selling it on the black market. So it's, it's anything from currency exchange to um, you know, buying SIM cards. But 
Uh, I digress, you can generally go to convenience stores and get SIM cards and whatnot. Um, if you're in the country for only a day, I don't think it's, you know, I wouldn't recommend buying anything over $10. If it's a few dollars, it's not so bad. But if you're, if you're going to be in a country or an area for a longer period of time, then, you know, try to get, um, don't just buy that 40 gigabyte SIM card for $10, $15 because you might, you know, it might not be a, a very good provider. So I'd recommend, even with the people's recommendations, you know, take, take the lower amount of the, the cheaper SIM card, test it out, see if it's enough. If it's not, then get another one. But um, you can do most of your research and your um, anything you need to, need to do online or any phone calls you need to make on online phone numbers. You can generally do that at your hotel, hostels, at coffee shops. Um, so you definitely don't need a SIM card when you're traveling. It can be super handy, especially if you're um, not on a tour and you're walking and doing everything on your own um, You're trying to get locations and destinations and you're trying to meet up with you know locals and stuff um, It does make it easier if you can make a phone call and call them. So that is That is sim cards in a nutshell if I missed anything Just let me know if there's more stuff you guys want me to talk about when it comes to sim cards when you're traveling or how to get um, the best SIM cards, or if you guys you know want any recommendations on um, certain countries that you're going to, and then you you know you have any questions, just let me know. You can DM me in my Instagram, or you can uh, put it in the comments or whatnot. That's uh, my Instagram is in the in the uh, description box below, along with you know any of the other gear I use. Anyways, I'll stop ranting. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And I, I hope this has been helpful.